One entertaining thing about these woodpeckers is their dance. As with other birds, flickers too perform courtship displays. In the case of these handsome birds, their dance isn't just about pair formation, but also territory defense. You are more likely to see this behavior in spring, when another male, note the mustache only male birds have, tries to take over another pair's domain. I should also say that females do intrude too. The resident male will confront the intruder, standing just a few inches apart as they stare each other down. For a few moments, this goes on. Then one of them starts moving its head back and forth and bobs it up and down, in a way that the bill appears to trace a circular or figure eight pattern in the air. The other flicker responds by doing the same gesture, all the while never actually making contact. Excitement levels increases with the birds flashing the yellow under their wings and tails while making the wicka wicka calls. There are occasions when one makes a strike on the other, but mostly they just eventually stop with the best dancer winning the rights to the territory or mate. It may be surprising to learn that the bulk of their diet is ants and their larvae, especially during the breeding season, making up almost half of the insect portion of their diet. They probably eat ants more frequently than any other North American bird. Most birds avoid these insects probably because of their stings or noxious chemicals like formic acid they contain. Woodpeckers, however, seem to have no problem with them. But when it comes to the northern flicker and even the pileated, they just can't pass up an opportunity to feed on this delicacy. Most woodpeckers eat beetle larvae inside trees. Northern flickers, though, prefer to search for ants on the ground, in ant hills, along the side of quiet country roads, wooded clearings, gardens, and even on walkways should there be an infestation. It was discovered that a flicker consumed 5,000 in just one sitting. I suppose that considering how small these insects are and how large these woodpeckers are, it makes sense for them to have to eat a lot at one time. They love ants so much that they even rub them on their feathers something that is known as anting. Many other birds do this as well. It's thought to help protect itself from parasites and aid in preening. Although they love these little creatures, I should mention that beetles do make up a lot of their diet too. And the northern flicker is also a natural predator of the European corn borer moth, which is responsible for more than $1 billion in annual crop losses in the United States alone. A fascinating adaptation of all woodpeckers is an elongated tongue that is attached to an arrangement of bones, cartilage, and muscles known as the hyoid apparatus. This wraps around the bird's skull, ending near the rear of its eye sockets. A northern flicker's tongue is extra long, though, extending two inches and even close to three inches past the tip of its beak. It's thought that flickers may have the longest tongue among North American birds, allowing them to reach far down into the ground for ants. Also, as with all woodpeckers, the tongue is barbed, perfect for snaring insects. But flickers, though, have flattened tips and very large salivary glands, creating a sticky trap as the bird laps up its prey. These guys have a lot of names, like over a hundred. Some include Yellow Shafted Flicker, Gaffer Woodpecker, Hairy Wicket, Hi Ho, Wake Up Pigeon Woodpecker, Wood Pigeon, Wick Up, Yar Up, Gawker Bird, Southern Flicker, Common Flicker, and Yellow Hammer, just to name a few. Yellow Hammer is a name it's more commonly known as. It seems that many of these names came about when trying to imitate its calls. In the Natural History of Carolina, Florida, and the Bahama Islands, published in the 1730s, English naturalist Mark Catesby described and illustrated the northern flicker in his book as gold-winged woodpecker. Today we know them more so as northern flicker, flicker referring to its wicka 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 call. And their scientific name is Coleptes oratus. Calaptes means the pecker, and oratus is a Latin word meaning gilded or ornamented with gold. 
The more common and widespread yellow shafted northern flicker has yellow underwings and flight feather shafts, and this earned it the name as yellow hammer, which it is more commonly known as, especially in parts of the U.S. where the name holds a special place in the heart because of its ties to a Civil War story. During the Civil War, Alabama became known as the Yellow Hammer State, after a company of young recruits from Huntsville wore uniforms adorned with fine yellow cloth on the coattails, sleeves, and collars. A striking similarity of the resident Yellow Hammer woodpecker. The name spread until all Confederate troops from Alabama were referred to as Yellow Hammers. The name became so legendary that the yellow hammer woodpecker became the state bird of Alabama in 1927, the only state to use a woodpecker as their state bird. And finally, one last quick fact about these guys. The red shafted and yellow shafted forms of the northern flicker formerly were considered different species. And in an area where the two coexist, a wide zone from Alaska to the panhandle of Texas, Red shafted and yellow shafted birds often hybridize. A hybrid may have some traits from each of the two forms and some traits that are intermediate between them. So there's a few more facts about these silly birds. They are pretty neat woodpeckers and if you get a chance to observe one, definitely take a minute. That is if you don't scare one of these shy guys off first. I hope you enjoyed the five fun little facts about these gentle woodpeckers. And if you know of any more names that I didn't list here, comment below and let me know. For those who missed out, last week I did a much more in-depth video on them, so if you'd like to learn more, I'll leave a link at the end as well as down in the description. Also, I just want to say thank you to the ones who pointed out my error in saying that they were 30 inches in length. Being in Canada, I use the metric system and sometimes things can get confused or mixed up. Despite watching the video over and over, we missed it, so thank you for that. Sure would be a pretty big woodpecker. They are actually 13 inches, roughly 30 centimeters. Thank you again to everyone who provided such wonderful clips for me to use in photos. I will leave links to these people's social media, websites, and things like that down in the description. So make sure to check them out. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Take care. Happy birding.